campus that semester, so he was like my only little friend by default. <laughs> and he wasn't really my type. I mean, he was dark, chocolate, skinny, and tall, you know? And there were some things about him that bumped me a little, like he was a little bossy at times. I know, come in! Sit down! Hello everyone! Welcome to another episode of Ask the Girl from Schenectady. And I'm your host, Oduayo Magic Odumi, aka Ayo Magic, the girl from Schenectady. <laughs> so that clip you just saw was another clip from my one woman show where the main character describes Tunde. A Nigerian guy she dated while in college, and although she wasn't quite so fond of him, still decided to go on a date with him for some free food and laughter, and then later ended up regretting it. So today's topic, are we settling or compromising for love? Hmm. Well, as usual, let's first hear what the male and female panel had to say about this. I'm not sure if uh, settling or compromise, um, which one is the better term? Because when I think of compromise, uh, I'm around a lot of technology. So when I hear someone say, oh, your security has been compromised, I think, oh, I made uh, you know, a bad decision because this person, <laughs> person is compromising me. As opposed to like um, settling where it's like, oh, I feel comfortable here. So I'm just going to settle for this. So I don't know which one is good or bad. I really mm -hmm. don't. So that's something I have to really think about. I think there's a difference between compromising and settling. I believe that relationships should take a compromise, that a relationship should be about compromise because what that says is that I'm not going to be selfish. I'm going to consider who you are. I'm going to consider your ways and things like that so we can make that work because ultimately a relationship is a part. It's not about, you know, just one person's way or one person being right, but it's about mm -hmm. how can we come together, right or wrong, to make that work. Now, when it comes to settling, my idea of settling is lowering yourself or lowering your standards or being less than in some kind of way so that um, to, to make a relationship. And thinking about changing Mm -hmm. um, you could get with someone and let's say you're super happy and then mm -hmm. you guys go throughout your marriage and then you guys kind of change mm -hmm. and and then you get divorced. But then you could get with someone that maybe you're, you were settling, right? Mm -hmm. But then as you mature and change, you might kind of change your perspective mm -hmm. on being with that person and mm -hmm. it may change and you may be happy. Me being a Christian dude is like, look, this person it's probably gonna be the best person to help you with your purpose, and and then like and like uh, help you have a purposeful, you know, marriage. You know what I mean? Like like where y'all can do more work in this world you gotcha. know, together than than you getting the supermodel that you think you want. I think first reason you you, and I don't even really know if I would call it settling. I would say that your priorities change. Okay. Uh, your your vision change, your priorities change. Um, if you're settling for the wrong reason, it's because you're you feeling lonely and you just don't want to be by yourself. There's a lot of people that are just like, I can't be by myself. I have to have a man, which we all know yeah. that never works out well, ever. Mm -hmm. It would have to be like, uh, if I would to end up settling, it would... Like, because I'm pretty sure when it comes to dating, everybody have, like, certain things, like, okay, where I can compromise on, on certain things, but, like, just there's just certain things, they're non-negotiable, right? So on the things you're willing to compromise on, how far of a compromise you're willing to do? So if you find, like, I'm a, and again, I probably get a lot of <laughs> backlash uh, for this, but I'm a firm believer as... And there is no such thing as the perfect person for anyone. I, I like I believe in true love, but I don't believe in you finding the perfect person because that makes no sense. Because <laughs> the perfect wow. person doesn't exist, right? The perfect mm -hmm. being doesn't exist. So, regardless of who you end up, that whoever end up being that person for you, 
they're going to have some flaws. Now, is you as a person just loving that person enough to overlook those flaws, then that might make that person the perfect person for you and vice versa if you guys willing to overlook each, other, each other's flaws. Wow. Okay. I gotta agree with both sides of the panel. I mean, there's different layers to this. For example, it just depends on what your definition of settling and compromising is. They can both be negative. And I think it just comes down to your worth, you knowing who you are, knowing your worth, knowing your value, knowing what you need, knowing what you can tolerate, knowing what you can't tolerate, and more importantly, not allowing outside influences of friends or family to, to make that decision for you. You know? And I think that that's what it is. You just have to know who you are. Because for me personally... To tell you the truth, I need to have a kingdom partner and I need a kingdom marriage. And for me to have a kingdom partner, that has some requirements from me personally and from the person that I want to be with. So in that scenario, I can't afford to settle. Settling is not an option. That is either is or it isn't. Okay? But I think that the bottom line is you really have to know your worth because if you don't know your worth then you may end up tolerating something that you may end up regretting later on. Now, on another side note, I think it's also important to have mentors. Yeah, mentors are great. I think it's great to seek wise counsel from people you trust, um, that you believe in, that can help you make the right decision. If you're with someone and you're not 100% sure if you're settling all compromising, I would recommend speaking with someone, a mentor, teacher, parents, family, someone you trust, that will help you make a good decision that's healthy for you and for your future. All right, y'all know what time it is? It is time for that question of the day. Yes, honey. Again, these are questions coming from you, my lovely audience. So let's get right to it. Today's question of the day is, is it okay for a woman to pursue a man she's interested in. Mm. All right. Well, here's my answer. No, absolutely not. Women should not be pursuing men. The men are supposed to do that. Okay, truthfully, a lot of women may disagree with me on this one, but I just don't believe that us women should be the one pursuing as far as asking a man out on a date or making the first move. Men should be doing that. From my background, my upbringing, my mother never pursued my father. My father was the one that pursued my mother. He made the first move. He showed he was interested. And that's how I believe it should be. Now, once a man does show he's interested and he asks you out on a date or shows or gives you signals, then it is up to us to pursue the man back and show that we're interested in him. But as far as a woman making the first move, no, I disagree. I don't think so. And also, what if you do make the first move, then throughout the whole relationship, you're constantly the one who has to make the first move and make all the plans and do everything before he does? It's just exhausting. You know, why do that? So I would say absolutely not. A man should be the one pursuing. Now, you know, I have to say that was a really good question. I think it would be great for the male panel to answer that one. I think that would be a great question to have the male panel answer. So I think on an upcoming episode, we'll have the men answer this question. So on that note, that concludes today's episode of Ask the Girl from Schenectady. Now that was a great question. Please keep them coming. Feel free to comment below or you can send me messages on Instagram. Again, I am at IOMagic and that's spelled A-Y-O-M-A-J-E-K. Now, please remember, I have to disclose, I am not a dating coach. I am not a licensed therapist. All of my opinions are based on my experiences. Now, please tune in to next week's episode where the topic will be red flags. Why do we ignore them? Mm, you don't want to miss that one. So again, thanks for tuning in. And as usual, please like and subscribe.